The standard procedure for an equilibrium calculation problem is to set up an ice table and use the definition of equilibrium constant to set up an equation. Let's read the problem together. Calculate the concentration of PCl5 present when the following gas phase reaction comes to equilibrium. If the initial concentrations of PCl5 is 1.02 molarity, Cl2 is 0.16 molarity, and PCl3 is 0 molarity. This is the chemical equation. It has one reactant and two products. When you set up an ice table, each reactant requires a column, and each product requires a column. Therefore, we need to create three columns for the ice table, and we have provided the molarity of the chemicals. Therefore, we need to create three rows in the ice table. Initial concentration, change in concentration, and equilibrium concentration. As you may have already noticed, the first letter of the three rows are I, C, E. That's why we call this table an ice table. Let's fill the table with the information provided. Next, we need to figure out the change in concentration of the reactant and the products. The initial concentration uh, one of the product is 0, and the other product is 0 0.16. We can calculate the reaction quotient. This is the definition of the reaction quotient. We can see that the reaction quotient is very similar to the equilibrium constant. The only difference is the reaction quotient use the concentration not the equilibrium concentration of the reactants and the products. And in this equation, the coefficient for the reactant and the coefficients for the two products are 1. Mathematically, we can omit the power term. The reaction quotient is equal to 0. Therefore, Q is less than Qc because the equilibrium constant is always a positive number. When the reaction quotient is smaller than the equilibrium constant, the reaction will go towards the product. Therefore, the concentration of the products should increase, because the coefficient for both products are 1. So we will assume the increase will be x for both. And the coefficient for the only reactant is 1. The change in concentration should be negative x. The equilibrium concentration is always equal to the sum of the initial concentration and the change in concentration. I put on a question mark here to indicate the equilibrium concentration of PCl5 gas is what we are looking for. We are not looking for x. Next, we are going to use the definition of the equilibrium constant to set up an equation. Let's put down the power term. Although they are 1, but this will remind us the power term is equal to the coefficient of the corresponding chemical. Then we will plug the expressions of each chemical into the equilibrium constant expression to get the equation. And we already given the value of Kc which is 0 0.0013. In chemistry, at this point, we are done. All we have left is to use the mathematical skills to find x, and then we plug in the value of x into this expression to find the equilibrium concentration of PCl5. Let me show you the mathematical steps. We will move all terms into one side of the equation, and we set the other side of the equation equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation. For a standard quadratic equation, 
It has two roots. We will use this to help us to find the solution for our quadratic equation. Because the equilibrium concentration cannot be a negative number. So the second root is not our answer. This one is. Remember, we are looking for the equilibrium concentration of PCL5 gas, not X. So we need to do one more additional step. We're done.